Visionary. Leader. Dedicated. Master fundraiser. Motivator. Beloved friend, father, and husband. This is just a very small list of words ascribed to one man who built a school, which built a community, which built a generation of leaders. Really, where does one start to talk about a brother who was just an unbelievable human being? Uh, my brother Morris was uh, a very honorable man with unbelievable integrity and character. And I think Hashem put him on this earth to do exactly what he did. My friend Morris Franco, what a special individual he was. In fact, I think there was nobody in our community, in our history, that was as special as Morris Franco. And, and the reasons for that were really simple. Morris really cared about other people. He was a special guy, and uh, he could have people follow him anywhere. On October 26, 1939, in Brooklyn, New York, a baby was born to Isaac and Allegra Franco, a very special child named Morris, and the world would be better because of him. Morris Franco grew up with wonderful parents. Uh, his mom and his dad I knew very well. He helped his dad in any way that he can because he knew that his mobility was limited. He helped his mom. He did errands when he was a, a teenager. I needed some money and Morris, he was a young kid. I said, Morris, I need $100 so I can get down there. And he gave me the $100 and he never ever wanted me to pay him back. So Morris, as a young kid, I had this unbelievable way about him, of being kind, being generous, caring, and that, that was my brother. Morris's compassionate deeds weren't reserved for just family members. Around the age of 12, Morris and some friends worked to earn money by shoveling neighborhood homes during a snowstorm. But one elderly woman didn't have money, so the boys moved on to other homes except for Morris. He stayed to shovel her walkway for free. It was a sign of the man he was to become. However big of heart though, the teenage Morris Franco was still known to act sometimes like the teenager. He had a little bit of wildness in him. He was a fun guy, he loved to have a great time. <laughs> I mean, he did some things that, uh, you know, that a teenager would do, but he was a, he was a happy child and he was full of confidence. And you knew that someday he was going to be a very successful businessman. Morris Franco did in fact become a successful businessman. And by the early 1970s, he also had a young family with whom he was an early pioneer in a new community on the New Jersey shore. Having grown up with a strong Jewish education himself, Morris Franco understood its importance and enrolled his children in the little Hillel Yeshiva that was located on Logan Road. It started over 35 years ago when Morris Franco, my uncle, uh, got very involved in the school and he realized and had the vision to want to leave Logan Road, where the school originally was housed. I know at one time Hillel Yeshiva was a small institution. As the community grew, the institution grew and it needed, you know, larger quarters. At that time, a very large piece of land became available. Between my brother and myself, we purchased it and donated it to Yeshiva. It was a family deal. It was the Ashken Franco and Ashkenazi families who were the uh, pioneers and founders of this school we're standing in right now. Morris was Hillel, and uh, he took over uh, from the group that had it. And uh, once he took it, it was his baby. And I think when you say the name Morris Franco, you think of Hillel. Morris had a real vision. Morris wanted to educate every Jewish child and set each child up for success. And he essentially devoted his entire life, 40 years, 
to Hillel Yeshiva. His heart and his focus was Hillel Yeshiva. And uh, how he found the time, uh, he was extremely uh, involved in the business, uh, where he excelled again in communicating and motivating, but he found the time and he put all the effort he had in making certain that this school becomes the jewel of the Jersey Shore. We were running out of room constantly and there was always a need to expand and Morris Franco was at the forefront of expansion and we always did it in such a way where we didn't create a tremendous amount of debt. I don't think no other individual did more for Hillel Yeshiva than Maris did. It was on December 26, 1960, Morris Franco married his wife, Carol. Soon after, he began raising his own family, a family he loved very much. He provided well for them, showered them with affection, and was much loved for it. You know, he was mostly involved with the Hillel Yeshiva. That was his second love. His first love was his wife. In order for a person to be successful outside of his family life, he has to have the support of his wife. To spend many evenings away from home, at community meetings, at various functions that are associated with running a school, there's a lot of time that had taken away from family life and personal life. Morris Franco's wife, Carol, afforded him that opportunity and gave him the courage and the wherewithal to be able to do what he needed to do to be successful as the leader of Hillel Yeshiva. It was Morris Franco's father-in-law, Mr. David Beebe, who taught Morris the words from Torah that said building synagogues and yeshivot were of the most important things. A community leader and a visionary himself, David Beebe's inspiration set Morris Franco on a course that he would ultimately dedicate 40 years of his life to, Hillel Yeshiva. Early on, Morris Franco had a vision for the school and its students, and he never strayed from it. Like his father-in-law, David Beebe, Morris led by example, and he never disappointed. Morris is a leader because he's fair, he's humble, he's honest, he's ambitious, and he's relentless. And those qualities in a man are very rare. And Morris had it. And when you saw that, you just had to work with him. Morris always had a smile on his face. No matter what he was going through, he was um, happy, and you felt it the minute you saw him. He was uh, inspiring, and no matter what he was going through, you can tell he was a leader, and you can tell that he was able to overcome any obstacle that he had ahead of him. Over the past few years, uh, Morris attended many meetings, many meetings that we had, many critical ventures that we had at, at, at just in the last downturn of the economy, and he was there. Without Hillel Yeshiva, there really would be no Jewish community on the Jersey Shore. And it was Morris's vision to give us the school that we have today that actually is giving us the community on the Jersey Shore. And I think when the children learn about Morris and what he's done, uh, they'll see him as probably one of the greatest leaders that this community has ever had. And hopefully, a lot of them will be able to emulate all that he's done for us. For every child to have a Jewish education, regardless of whether they could afford it or not, was a driving force for Morris Franco's relentless commitment to raise money for the school to be successful. And it turned out, no one was better at it than he was. He did the majority of the fundraising himself. Every Tuesday, he would actually go to Manhattan or to different places, go to people's offices and solicit from them. Most times, people who were to solicit required an appointment, but Morris Franco never needed an appointment. Morris Franco and his partner Jackie Franco raised the necessary scholarship funds each and every year. They raised millions of dollars to put up an eight-building complex that today has over a thousand students, and it's truly amazing how the seeds they planted back in the 70s, over 35 years ago, 
rings true today with the, with the current committee. It was Mr. Franco's dream for the alumni to come back and give back. I mean, Hillel is the breeding ground for the future leaders of our community. We are training the future leaders of our community at Hillel. And on a regular basis, you see Hillel students, both current and those who have already graduated, out there, involved in chesed projects of the community, running our synagogues, running our programs for the, for the youth, fundraising, and so on. We were taught to step up and make a difference and to be role models and leaders. Um, when I attend um, programs, events, or fundraisers throughout our community, I'm not surprised when I see Hillel Yeshiva alumni at the forefront. We're going to make it one of the best yeshiva in the entire nation. Um, that's our goal. Today, I am thrilled and confident that my children have Hillel in their future. And with Hashem's help, our children will be the future of Hillel. Today, Hillel is the largest yeshiva on the Jersey Shore due to the foundation that Morris Franco helped build. Hillel Yeshiva continues Morris's legacy with the new addition of Founders Hall, a testament to those leaders who have had the vision, dedication, and passion to take the community to new heights. The Founders Hall will be the shining jewel of this campus. The Founders Hall is meant to lure individuals, lure uh, the students, the parent body, to have a place where they can uh, come and see all, see all the good, see all the good that the founders provided for the yeshiva. Morris dedicated his entire life to our yeshiva and dreamed that Hillel alumni will be the future leaders of our community. Morris, I am proud to say that we are living your dream. And if we do not let them go out into the world prepared for the environment that's out there, and it's tough out there, so that they become professionals in what they do, we will not be able to succeed and I know with our graduates, Hillel graduates, the future of our community will lie in good hands.